to deactivate the vault's defenses in the Black Rune in the journey, throw the Blades of Chaos at the jewel on the outer ring, and carry the Winds of Hell to the sphere mounted in one of the rooms, and transfer the Winds of Hell to the sphere. Go into the room and use the wheel. Run through the periodic gap between the first two wheels. Wait for the gap between the second set of wheels to be in the lower right, and roll through. Wait for the next wheel to be in the top right, and throw the axe at the white disc on the shaft of the wheel to freeze it in place. Wait for the wheel behind it to leave a gap, and roll through. Lift the door to the main area, and go back out. Get the winds of hell from the second ring, and transfer them into the mounted sphere in the room you have just come out of, and use the wheel. Freeze the first spikes in the top position, and time a roll into the gap in the right wall. Wait for a free path and roll out of the gap to the next room. Exit the room back into the main area. Climb up to the upper level using the wall. Once you're at the top, find and drop the chain down. Go around the walkway until you can see the jewel in the inside ring. Transfer the Windsor Fail from the inner to the outer ring. Go back down to the lower area using the chain and transfer the Windsor Fail from the outer ring into the mounted sphere in the last room and use the wheel. Use the middle lever to move the symbols left and use the left lever to lower the moon. Use the middle lever to move the sun and the disc to the right. Use the right lever to lower the sun. Use the left lever to raise the moon and then the middle lever to move the disc to the middle. Use the right lever to raise the sun 